goodbye snow. <laughs> you know your trip's off to a good start when the seat is empty. Yay, vacation! <laughs> Tip number one, always bring your own snacks. Here's our room, the bathroom. A nice king bed. Oh, hey, who's that? Me. Little couch. It looks like it could actually be like a bed as well, which is nice. Check out this view. So pretty. That's a golf course right there. Stunning. Oh, and we can watch Scotty take a poop in there. <laughs> it's got a full body mirror over here. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Toilet, a shower, Ooh. the Sunset Butler Suite. Ooh, check this out, you guys. Big pool, tub pool. Oh my goodness. Selfie mirror, yes, gotta have that. Oh, this goes right through. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. And you get a 24 hour butler? I think you can get one in here and this one. You have to double check, but it looks like butler. Now that's a view. So at the fancier part of the resort, they have little swim up, swim out rooms, which is kind of cool. And then here, and then here is another private pool. It's so quiet over here. This is the bar that's open every night. They have live music every night. Can you imagine the sunset out here? The view. And it just rains, so don't mind everything being everywhere. You guys, this is not a picture. This is like a real life view. How beautiful is that? Check out this view, you guys. So this is where you go to like the crazy rich place. Hi, Scott. Hey. It 
I guess it could be like crazy in debt too. It doesn't have to be crazy rich. It's just super expensive. They have a beautiful gazebo. Here's where like one of the restaurants is. It's an Italian place. Stunning. There is our private beach just for this resort, which is kind of fun. Look, iguana. <gasps> oh my god, you guys! Crazy how I'm filming right now. Hiya, buddy! Just don't come near me. I'm more scared of you than you are of me. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my god, Sierra would be going crazy right now. Crazy! Hey, you guys, an airplane is coming in right now. You'll see how close the airport is. So there's the airplane. So cool. So there's the airport. So that's how quick we got here. But this is our private beach the beach like it's only ours so this is where like the um, private pool is for the other part of the hotel the expensive part just so that you guys are getting a gist of what everything looks like it's so beautiful here and then this is where like the um, regular buffet is so you can come here breakfast dinner and supper or breakfast lunch and supper or breakfast lunch and dinner however you guys want to pronounce it and then they have like a little beach overlooking the ocean with some sand you can't go into the ocean over here And then this is, this little gazebo part is where they do the outdoor entertainment. So it's kind of fun. This is the first time Scott and I have ever seen um, an outdoor entertainment with sand around it, which is kind of cool. And then they have, so this is like the crazy expensive place. And then they have the gym back there for all you people who like to work out on the holidays. We work out every once in a while on holidays. We did today, so. That's stunning. All right. A lot of chairs, and then here's another bar. And this is a place that you actually have to make reservations for. You can hear a little bit of the airport. But this is where like a fondue type place is. Kind of cool, got a couple bathrooms there. Super pretty. And then they have a kids area up there. Super cool. And then this is Pleasantville where all us budget travelers like to go. <laughs> you shake your head at me. I'm not a peasant. <laughs> So they have the kids and the adult pool all together. They have like a kid center if you do bring your kids, which is kind of cool. It's like just back there. You can see it right there. They have like a little basketball net. That's kind of fun. So they have the kids center, kids stuff back there. And then for the adults, they have a little swim up bar. And then the towel hut, where you get your towels. And then the regular shower. And then here is where like the lobby is. I'm gonna quickly show you it a little bit. So those doors right there are where you're gonna come in. And then they have like a little casino over here, a little place to gamble bar, they have some roulette, some, they're like all penny machines which is nice, and then the reg guest registration, 
We have a little cafe bar. It's nice and renovated. Those little kiosks right there are where you make like reservations. You can see like maps, anything like that. Just sitting area. So here is where there's a little cafe. And you can get coffee and water. Personal setups depending on packages and group. Imagine your reception just looking over that ocean. Oh my goodness. Stunning. You can go outside if you want. There's like an outside area. It's showing up green, but I promise that it's not green. It's actually a really nice color. It's a beige. Yeah. now we are quickly going on to the ratings part and that's why I included Scott Kemp that's right this is the at the Kemp show where uh, we instead of show guns show ratings to resorts so as you guys uh, I don't know if you guys know this already maybe you do but we are very well traveled we have traveled all over the Caribbean oh, Mexico Puerto Rico Dominican Cuba Antigua Bahamas. Bahamas. Six? Yeah. And now St. Martin. So this was our seventh time going in the Caribbean. And we've stayed at ten resorts total. This was our tenth resort. Um, so we have a lot of experience in resorts. So when we are giving these ratings, it is based off of our overall uh, umbrella of resorts. So St. Martin is actually at a higher price point than a lot of the resorts that we've stayed at in the past. So I do want to stress that when we are giving these reviews, we have experience with other resorts. And so we will go into a little bit about like why we're giving the numbers that we're giving when we are rating it. Um, but yeah, so they do have, like you guys seen in the video before, they do have Ocean Point, which is adults only, um, higher price point, but uh, they have the two private pools, they have a separate dining area. So if like super relaxing, because like the entertainment area doesn't, team doesn't even go over there. So if relaxing is your utmost, like top priority, that might actually be a better option to spend a little bit more and go over to Ocean Point. First they had Coors Light, which is really good anywhere. I mean, it's not like the best beer in the world, but it's, it's a good crisp beer. Um, and then they had another one called Bavaria, which is also very good. Um, one was a little bit darker. The Bavaria was a little bit darker. That's more like your European style beer. But um, sometimes they wouldn't serve you the Coors Light. Like they would have like a case of Coors Light behind the bar, but they would be like, oh no, you need to drink Bavaria. And Scott's like, but I see a case of Coors Light right there. And that's what I want. I think by popularity, they were going through them a little bit faster. Yeah. So they weren't chilling them as fast maybe, but one nice thing is they did have them on ice, so again, I think I'd rather have the can on ice than mm -hmm. maybe a keg beer from time to time. Just so because, maybe that's why they were pushing yeah. it, because they weren't replenishing the, the ones on ice. Yeah, and also their glassware was very clean, so at that place I could have drank keg beer or whatever, mixed drink, it would have been fine, but um, as far as that goes, it was good. Uh, as far as the, the actual um, branding of their liquors was good, they had your typical like your one-off mixing type stuff. Like I'm talking about like no-name stuff you've never heard of or ever seen. Um, your typical like the colored ones that are like the fruity flavors and, and your typical rums and vodkas and gins and stuff like that. But they're like basic brand stuff. And then they had like your national brands like Smirnoff and you know like Beefeater gin. gin and, yeah. Um, 
I think they even had Canadian club they had or something uh, like that, absolute but. vodka as well that I've seen mm -hmm. like they were really good when it came to actual liquors whereas like a lot of the lower brand or lower budget sorry um, resorts that we have been to haven't always had those like common low budget in North America uh, vodkas like Smirnoff I personally am a Smirnoff person I don't mind drinking it um, but some Resorts don't even have that. Like some would say she's maybe a Smirnoff hoe. I probably am a Smirnoff hoe. <laughs> um, right. But in, what about foods? Food was good. Because yeah. we don't need to make this like five hours long. So. It was good. It was, yeah, everything you could ask for. Resort Where'd you eat? Food. Where'd you eat? Um, sometimes we had the, um, I think it was called something grill. I can't remember what it was. It was Palm's just Grill. Yeah, Palm's Grill was good. That's where we went for lunch yeah. was Palm's Grill. And then we went to the buffet uh, quite buffet a bit for supper. Good. We went to the Italian restaurant, and I think that that's probably where you got sick. Scott I can't actually, confirm that it was from there. Like you can't specifically, but no. But it was just ironic how everybody was going there, and all of a sudden they got sick. I didn't personally get sick, and I did eat there. Um, it could have been a mixture of that with dehydration. Who knows? But a lot of the resort did get sick in some way, shape, or form. But also the the As Ascot Pub. Yes, that place had good bar. food. Yeah. They had it good was food. like upstairs. The bartender up there was a lot of fun. He liked to make you, we just tell you to pick a random color and make you that kind of shot or whatever for the group of people that were standing there. It was cool. However, um, when it but, came to bartenders, they were very much on island time. And we are used to island time, but not like to that extent. And actually, in some cases, it took me going to the bar. Like if Scott went to the bar, he was waiting like a long time. He would send me to the bar and it would be like, I wouldn't wait. I would still have to wait a little bit, like island time, but I wouldn't have to wait as much. And why would you make me wait? I'm thirsty. Right? And he's good looking. So uh, I don't get it. But I don't get it. I would say And overall, you were the one with the money. Like, you were the one tipping. So I didn't understand why... Yeah. Like, females were getting... I mean, I get why females were getting, because, I mean, look at me. Everybody's but, in their bikinis and their... Yeah. But at the same wear. time, it's like... I don't know. Overall, I would say food and drinks for me was an eight because I could tolerate the food. I could tolerate it when I left and I could find things in the menu that I haven't tried yet and have that or every night they switch a the buffet. It wasn't the same food every night, which is good. So that I can say was decent. And I'm going to go with a seven and a half just because when it came to drinks, if I wanted like a, um, a well drink, just like a vodka crayon, they would make it way too strong. And I mean, I get that at every resort. Yeah. So, um, I do give a seven and a half just because of timeliness. I was a little bit frustrated with that. Um, there was a point in time where they ran out of bottled water, which I found really weird because we're not able to drink their tap water. So when we went to bed, they didn't have bottled water. We had to go elsewhere for it. So that was a little bit weird. Um, but overall, seven and a half. I'm going to give it, you're going to give it an eight. Beautiful. Let's move on to accommodations. Yeah, we could cut this one a little bit shorter, I think, this time. Yeah. Overall. Okay. One of the cleanest places I've ever been to. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it was very new because they had done some renovations. The disaster, the disaster after, uh, like after Hurricane Irma, it completely destroyed the entire hotel. And actually, you could still see a little bit of the aftermath of that. Like if you went to a certain part of the resort, you could see what area hadn't been done. And it was sad. It was just like... Even like the, the matches were good. The duvets were good. You know, like pillows sucked. I'm not a big TV guy, but when you're trying to like wind down or something for an hour or half an hour, yeah, had your typical cable channels from US or wherever. Um, combinations are good. I would say, like to me, comfort-wise and cleanliness. And I'm I'm I like really clean and new stuff. I'm not I'm kind of picky when it comes to stuff. I would say, in my opinion, truthfully, it was an eight and a half. Like it was very very spotless. Yeah. Ever inside, outside. The, However, the glassware, the, the silverware was super clean. Can I just say, I'm, I'm going to add this to it though, that there were issues in our room. They were like tiny little things, but they were things that could have been a lot worse had they not been as short. So like when Scott was sick one day, I brought him back a, a breakfast and they didn't clean up that plate. So had that not been the day before we left, because they cleaned, or no, two days before we left, they didn't clean up the plate. And we were like, they missed that. And then the coffee machine, too, hadn't been cleaned. So it was like 
little, little, little things that had it been left for a whole week, it could have been a bigger issue. Like there would have been mm -hmm. bugs and stuff. Like that's food and like coffee grounds and stuff. Like it's kind of gross. But as far as keeping the bathroom and the floors and the bedding and stuff clean, it was very yeah, good. Yeah, it was Towels decent. were good. Yeah. I could say it was good. Yeah. What, do you, what did you say for combinations? Eight. But. So, entertainment. Moving along. It, it just was not. It wasn't a lively resort. It was not a lively resort. No, more relaxing. Yeah. Which entertainment is good, wasn't good. It was. The night, the night stuff was the same stuff over and over. It was. The good da they were really good dancers yeah. and really good performers, but. I don't know. I mean, Two of the nights the were the exact same performance. Yeah. And we were like. And even the live bands weren't that good. I actually, band, I didn't, I didn't mind the one live band. Tacky. The one that I did the conga line. That was a lot of fun. Just tacky. But I, I liked that one, but the other one, yeah, the other one was a little bit tacky. Anybody can move that up at a typical teen bop dance or <laughs> a wedding or whatever. I don't know. The entertainment was between a five and a six. I just was trying to be nice and said six, but I I'd actually give like it a five. four. I don't know. Like the quality Average. of the evening was really good. Like they were really good. However, everything else was just like, like way below par. It was a bit sad. Yeah, it was. Uh, we had to like keep ourselves entertained, which yeah. I mean, sometimes is all right, but the I got last, a lot of relaxing that I didn't know what I needed. I would say the last category though, that we could just kind of put this to rest, other than like final comments would be staff slash service. That includes the concierge, the people walking around cleaning, the ones doing the coffee shop. We could pop in and grab a sandwich or coffee or whatever you need for refreshments. And then the cleaning staff, the pool attendants, anything like that, waiters, waitresses, um, anybody who was in the service department. It just, it was pretty good, but they were very like Cleaning reserved. was good, yeah, but the service was eh. Um, so now I would really like to talk about St. Martin itself because I believe that it is a unique, beautiful island mm -hmm. that we should talk about individual outside of um, Sinesta, Maho. Outside of that, let's talk about, oh, the beach. We didn't, we didn't rate the yeah. beach. I just have that as, like, I don't know, the beach wasn't really part of the resort though. It was sort of shared with that one beside ours, and it was so small. Yeah, it was kind of confusing. It wasn't how really that a beach. It wasn't. It, it wasn't, was nice. I don't know. Like the sand it was itself average. was really nice. However, um, because of the uh, earthquakes that were happening in Puerto Rico, I guess it was really windy, like windier than normal, which I didn't find it too, too windy. Like, yeah, it was windy, and you guys heard that in the videos. But I didn't find it like crazy windy where I couldn't enjoy myself like I did in the Bahamas. Like, remember in the Bahamas when it was like super windy and I couldn't enjoy myself? However, I still enjoyed that resort. Um, it wasn't like that here. It was just like windy. However, the waves were coming in and like somebody snapped their ankle. Like that's how bad the waves were. So they were like strong waves. So, so work on your ankles in the gym. You're gonna be going to the ocean. <laughs> Yes, or just don't go swimming when there's a red flag up. I mean, there's that too. That's probably the smart move. <laughs> <laughs> so work on your ankles or don't go swimming when there's a red flag. But uh, it was it was really nice, and I wish we could have enjoyed that a little bit more because it it looked really good. But the the last day we could have, but the beaches around the island. Yes, that's a different story. And even like there very was a nice. beach. Very like, very breathtaking views. It was like views. a ten minute walk, not even from our resort that I got to enjoy the last day. Unfortunately, Scott wasn't feeling well. So I went in there and like, I still can feel myself just floating there. And it was so calm. The day when it wasn't windy and the, the waves weren't coming in, had the waves been coming in, um, even at our resort, it was a lot more calm. I probably could have swam there, but I did want to check out that other beach. It actually reminded me of Cuba. And like, I hold Cuba to a pretty high standard when it comes to beaches and ocean. So that says a lot for that particular beach but what i am going to say that if you want to go around the island a lot of people say rent a car i disagree because um we actually uh made friends with one of the bartenders and another couple that was there and we ended up going on a tour with the bartender the bartender just like took his own personal vehicle 
and took us around to all the main places. So either make friends with a local who will take you around, and I know that might not sound really safe, but honestly, just trust your judgment. We trusted ours, um, which was great. That was $80 American, I'm gonna say costs. $80 American, it was $65 American to rent a car, plus you would have to fill up on gas, and gas there is like $2 a liter, it's crazy. Yeah, um, we probably were, we, we saw some things that we would have never known. Never in a million years. Because I know another family who actually rented a car. There was a family of five who rented a car. And they weren't able to see half as much as we seen. And we didn't even see a lot. But we weren't. they weren't able to because they didn't know about it. Yeah. So you need to know something. So either go on an excursion or make friends with a local who will take you around. Um, it's one of one of the safest islands that I've ever been on. Definitely. Overall, I would, like I actually tell everyone that I've like talked to about the experience. I said I got the rest that I didn't even know I needed because we just like relaxed so much. It was so decompressing. And if I wanted to have fun, I just created it myself, kind of thing. Like I I did the Congo line and I went out a couple nights. There was a guy's birthday. Wesley, shout out to you, love you. Um, if you watch this. <laughs> It was his birthday and so we like went out and party for his birthday and uh, I met a family like the family of five that we were talking about um, We it was two parents and then three kids and we really got along with the kids really well uh, And then there was another girl and her mom and like I became her, their daughter essentially and you were the son-in-law kind of thing and so um, You just like create fun wherever you go and I guess that's just my personality is like wherever I go, I'm gonna meet somebody. I've always met somebody that I've just jived with and had fun with. Um, if you wanna have fun, I'm gonna have fun kind of thing and it doesn't take a lot. Uh, however, if you're more like introverted but you want to have fun, it is a very difficult place to do that there because there's nobody like bringing on that fun and like driving it, but. Like final words for me, if you pay more, you get a better overall mm -hmm. experience of relaxing and food and accommodations and everything like that. Um, if you want to party, it's not a place to party. Like yeah. if you want cheap, cheap trip to go like spring break kind of party and like, I don't want to use any stereotypes, but you know what I'm saying? Like if you want the cheap trip and like, Oh, party, whooping it up. Like I, but it's not going to be, it's not going to be like that. It's different. It's, you get what you pay for. My final words. Um, it wasn't like a top resort for me. It wasn't like if I had one choice of resort to go to, that would not be where I'd go, to be honest, even though it was at the top of our price point and the food was really good and all that kind of stuff. I don't go to a resort to eat amazing food because American food is a lot different than like Caribbean food. So um, I, it was, an amazing vacation and I thoroughly enjoyed myself and like I said I got the rest and I came back and I'm so energized and so excited uh, to kick off 2020 in such an amazing way however um, yeah probably not gonna go back in my opinion. Go mind you place. we don't go to the same place twice so unless like the only reason why we've ever gone back to the same place is two of them were trips that were given uh, we were taken on and then one was my birthday trip and Saskatchewan unfortunately you're only able to go to certain islands so I wanted to make sure that my friends and family from Saskatchewan were able to come on my birthday trip last year but other than that like we're not people to go back to the same island over and over and over again all right that's it so that's all shut it down thank you so much for coming on here with me again and we will see you on vacation. <laughs>